Hello students, myself Vibha Sharma and today we deal with heredity and evolution. Now after just hearing the word heredity and evolution, the first question which arises in my mind, what is heredity, what is evolution? So the answer of this that is what is heredity, the character which are transferred from one generation to another generation is known as heredity. Heredity characters, basically that, are, that characters is known as the heredity characters. So first term behind this is the heredity and the and another term is the variation. Heredity and variation. Heredity is the character which are transferred from one generation to another generation. Suppose we, I have some character of my parents, like for, uh, I have some, I have fair color from my mother, I have long hair from my uh, mother, blue eye from, from, sorry, brown eye from my father. So these are the some character which are passing from my, my, my parents to mine, from my parents to mine and the differences and the differences, those variations, variations are what? These are the differences. These are the differences which occur among the individual of the same species. Suppose uh, even the siblings are not the same. They, are, have, they, they have or they possess many differences among them. So these, why this, these are due to the differences. So these variations are the differences among the individuals of the same species. And the study of heredity and variation, the branch of science in which we study about the heredity and variation, how the character are transferred from parents to the offspring, how these variation brings in the offspring, that branch of science is known as genetics. So basically we have to deal with the first, what are the basic terms regarding uh, genetics, what are the basic history of the genetics. So if I'm talking about the term variation, variation then the first question that will arise that is the is there any uh, types of variation of what so yes there are two types of variation the first one is the somatic variation first is the somatic variation and the second is the germinal variation First of all, we deal with what is somatic variation. So, somatic always means that is the soma, that is the body cells. Means somatic cell, somatic variations which occur in the cells of the body. These are not transferred from one generation to another generation. So, such differences which occurs in the body cells only. And these variations are not transferred. These occurs in the body cells and they are not inheritable. Inheritable means the character which are transferred from one generation to another generation. So these are the non-inheritable and not inheritable characters. And another specific character of the somatic variations is that uh, if it, the, it is acquired by the individual during its own life. So these are the acquired variations also called as the also known as acquired variation. Acquired variation which is uh, acquired by the individual during its own life and it is lost during the death of the individual. Lost during death of an individual. So these are the basic things regarding the somatic variation. Well, how this somatic variation occurs and what are the basic another thing? First of all, we discuss about the what are the differences between the germinal and somatic variation. Another difference between the germinal variation and somatic variations that is germinal means germinal this word consists of the word germ that is the germ cells germ cells or the reproductive cells. Is the, if there is any variation occur in the germ cells or the reproductive cells of the individual, then definitely that character is inheritable from one generation to another generation. So that cells are the reproductive cells. And that cells, uh, and these cells, that is the germ cells. Germ cells is what? Uh, in case of men, it is sperm, while in case of female, it is ova. So these are the germ cells. And due to the fusion of these germ cells, that is the due to fusion of the sperm, and over zygote is formed. 
so definitely is if there is any variation if is there any problem in the chromosomal number of the sperm in the chromosomal number of ova that brings the variation or the differences in the zygote itself so this is the germinal variations which are not occurred in the normal body cells these are occurred in the germ cells and the second one because they, they definitely if it is due to the fusion of sperm and ova then it should be heritable character so it is inheritable inheritable means that it passed from one generation to another generation and due to uh, due to the these are not lost during the during not lost these variations are not lost during death of the individual because it should be passed from one generation to another generation during and another name of germinal variation is the blastogenic blastogenic okay now what are the different causes of having the somatic variation and the germinal variation so somatic variations are due to i should brief about the uh, what are somatic what are the different factors of having somatic variation suppose first is the environment environment brings a very important role in the somatic variation these include the factors like environment brings the food factor food as well as air pressure soil humidity these are the environmental factors what are these effects so if i am talking about the uh, light if i'm talking about the light then definitely strong sunlight affect the human skin by increasing the dark pigment melanin and melanin what is the function of the melanin it provides color to the skin as well as it protects the cells of the skin by absorbing the harmful uv radiations of the sun so these are the some environmental factors even the nutrition also affects the uh, also the another factor to cause variation nutrition habitat the place where you live will be habitat so these are the also the uh, another factors which affect the somatic variations next is the what are the significance of what are the importance of these variations why why is it so that these variation brings in the offspring and what are the importance so we we'll talk about the significance variation it uh, sub, it enables the organism to adapt themselves the important significance is the adaptation if you are not, if you have do not, not adapt in the environment then you will not be able to survive as you know the darwin's rule survival of the fittest if the fit individual uh, if the fit individual is present in the uh, environment then it only and only survive while unfit individuals do not survive so regarding that adaptation variation bring adaptation then what is the second uh, important it is the raw material it, it is the raw material for adaptations and it is the raw material for evolution it is the basis of heredity and uh, the organism it enables the organism to face the uh, struggle for existence in a better way it improve the races of useful animals and plants also so it improve the races of plant and animal that is the another importance of variation so this is all about the uh, 
introductory uh, chapter just uh, introduction what is variation what is heredity the main chapter what is the genetics what is the different terminology regarding the uh, genetics and all so today we discuss about what is mendel's contribution in that so uh, i'm just giving a brief idea of what is the mendel's contribution mendel he is known as the father of genetics and his time period is 1822 to 1884 uh basically he was not a scientist he was a monk in uh, in the he was a monk in the church in chicoslavia and he conducted conducted various experiments on gar garden bee so mendels basically choose mendels contribution he is regarded as father of genetics mendel chooses the garden bee or the botanical name is the pisum sativum garden bee or the pisum sativum and it's a botanical name so it's a rule to underline the genus name and the species name the genus name first letter of the genus name should be in capital letter in the species name or the specific epithet or the specific name the first letter of species should be in small letter and it should be underlined so this is the uh, this is the rule for writing the biological names mendel's conclusion were rediscovered uh, simultaneously by the three scientists that is hugo de vries carl collins and erin von tschitmark this is mark and these three scientists rediscovered the mendel's law after his death because his work was not recognized uh, before uh, he, when he was in when, when he was alive so he he although he presented his all experiments uh, before the brun Nat natural society in 1865 and even the uh, his paper was also published in annual proceedings of the natural history society in in 1866 but still his work was not recognized at that time due to which the his, his loss again rediscovered by the three scientists so basically is what that uh, what are the different terminology regarding the mandels and all we will discuss in the next session so thank you